another thing that happened over the weekend. Well, was it? I guess it was Saturday. It was Saturday. I'm it was Saturday, bro. bro. It, it felt like a, it felt like every all the days from Thursday to Sunday felt like they all were in the same day right. for some reason. Yeah, okay. for real. So Saturday we had the Mike Tyson versus Roy Jones fight, and man, was it great! Why was it great to me? Just because I I've been expecting this. I've been waiting for this fight to happen, but. Now, I wasn't expecting this card to be that good. They had four fights. They had two fights with real fighters. Then we got Nate Robinson, Jake Paul, and then Jake Roy, Paul. And Roy mm-hmm. Jones, and Mike Tyson. So, for one, I wasn't expecting the fights to be that, that entertaining. And two, I didn't know we were getting performances. I did not know. Mm-hmm. We got a Wiz Khalifa, Wiz Khalifa set, a French a YG. Mon- a YG set. Yeah. French Montana and um, Sway <laughs> Lee, who, who Ricardo, whose song is that? Before we, before I go any further, whose song is that? What unforgettable? Yes, whose song is it? Come, come. The Sway, it's Sway Lee song. <laughs> okay, all right, we just, I'll yeah. just make sure. That's Sway Lee. Song. I don't even know why French was there. <laughs> so, and then was there a fourth performance or just three? I can't remember. I just know those three. All right. No, it was St. John. St. John. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right. That's right. It yeah. was for St. John. Shout out to St. John. He's Grammy nominated, by the way. Yeah, yeah, he is. So, um, what are the other two fights? You got to fill me in. So, I, cause I only knew about Jay Paul, Nate Robertson, and the main event. I, what are the other ones? The other two fights were undercard fights, but they were real boxers, but they weren't right. uh, big time boxers yet. They're not big time boxers yet. Right. So, right. Um, I can't. I don't remember the names, but they were really great fights. They really were. Mm-hmm. So people enjoyed those fights. And, but they didn't uh, have a knockout. Those didn't have a knockout or a knockdown. Uh, and no one got hurt in those. So all those lasted um, six rounds. Of Twelve round, six rounds? Okay. Yeah. yeah. The, the, max, the max was eight rounds for all the fights. Except okay, okay. for one. One was six. That was Jake Paul and Nate Robinson was only six round fight. Mm, okay. So I, just because technically they are amateurs. Right. So that's why. Um. So for the for yeah, those two first fights with those gentlemen, shout out to them. Great entertainment to get us started. Really was. And then I wasn't expecting the performances. I wasn't expecting Snoop Dogg. Um and then the the whole Showtime team. They had all these guys from Showtime. Uh just like I played at the beginning, the man who interviewed uh Adrian Broner. Adrian Broner. Like, yeah. I wasn't expecting them to be there. This was great. Just for the first fight. So let, let's let me move into this Nate Robinson Jake Paul theatric of a fight. Oh my goodness! Um, that, that, that's when I started to tune in. Like when I and I and by the way, I just watched this on Twitter. I, like somebody was live streaming it. Yeah, if you know, you know, you know how to catch it on oh, Twitter. Oh, you should you know. hit me for link. I had the link for you, man. I could send you a link. Oh man, I didn't know about the link, man. Oh. I was just catching it on somebody recording it on the TV. Yeah, man, I could send you a link. I had the behind. The, I had the behind the scenes link. So when people, oh, telling, yeah, when people was telling me Snoop Dogg was, is uh, what you call is um, announcing. I'm like, what are you talking about mm-hmm. Snoop Dogg announcing? I got this old white dude announcing, and he's, he's oh really? Yeah, yeah. I had this old dude from you know from Germany, but he but he talked English. So <laughs> okay, okay. So he telling me that he's they showing us behind the scenes, and so I go to another link, and then I hear Snoop Dogg, and I'm like, I don't want to hear Snoop Dogg. Let me. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> I went back. I went back to the old German dude just because it was behind the scenes looking all of everything. Right, right, right. So it was a um, Jake Robinson, Jake Paul. Ah, uh, very, very bad. <sighs> Jake Paul was eight for twenty-one on throwing his punches. Nate Robinson fell three times off of eight punches. He only threw twenty-one punches. Yes, it was the this, second. That's, he fell. In that's second really round. low. He fell. He fell down in the second. He fell down the first round. Yeah, I remember that. Then he fell down in the second round, and then he got knocked out in the second round. Man. Now, do I think they should have had headgear? I thought they were gonna have headgear. I really mm-hmm. did, because every other Jake Paul fight that we've seen him do, he's out on headgear. Right. So, and for people who don't know, Jake Paul is a YouTuber. Um, I don't know what he does on his YouTube. I just I just knew him for all the bad stuff that he was doing when he was in China and or yeah. in Japan. 
No, no that's that, his, was, that, that, was, that, that, that was Logan. That was his brother. That was Logan, yeah. Oh, that's that's his brother. Okay, so yeah, his, yeah. yeah. So okay, so after Jake, no, Jake, Jake did a lot of uh, wild stuff, and he was on Disney, and he got kicked yeah. off Disney. Mm-hmm. So he's a Disney star. Well, he was on. Uh, he, he was on. He was on Vine. Or Vine, Vine yeah, yeah. Stars, and then mm-hmm. they moved over to YouTube. They both got their own shows. I think Logan did one of them. Maybe it was Logan did something else. Logan was doing like little, uh, he was doing like little movies on YouTube and stuff like that. Yeah, and then Jake was doing, the, he moved over to Disney for a little bit, and he got kicked off of Disney, and now he's back on YouTube with everything. Mm-hmm. And then that's when the whole uh, Team 10 Team Ten thing started, and, you know, they were doing the wild stuff in the backyard, like right. setting their mattress on fire. Yeah. Uh, all the fans were showing up to their house, because it's like somebody leaked their, their address, stuff like that. Um, I mean, I think nowadays they just do like regular blo- like vlogs type stuff. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Wow. So mm-hmm. how far YouTube stars have come? Uh, like for Ray William Johnson, Kev Kev Jumba. Yeah. Like all Kev those Jumba guys. Back then. Yeah, man. Like, man, early days. I know they. I know they were getting money, but it's like, man. No, nah, they ain't getting this type of money. Nah, this type of money, yeah, way yeah, way yeah. different. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. This is way, money, money. Yeah. Way way different. So. He's a you well, I'll just say YouTube star for right now and actor. Yeah, yeah, he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's a YouTube star. Yeah. And he's facing well, you, So I I, 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 I was gonna say, I need to know so how did Nate Robinson get brought like get brought why in. did he brought into this? Like I still need to understand that part. That's the part I still don't understand. Um, I forgot how it happened. I think well I think was it Nate who called him out or something? Yes, Nate called him out. Yeah, that's what I thought. Nate did call him out, and and you know me, because Nate is an athlete, a, res- yeah. a respected athlete, two time right. or three time NBA dunk champion. Oh yeah, he did win it three times. Mm-hmm. Didn't he? Yeah, three times. So he's a res- well respected athlete, and he played football. He played football. He played basketball. Um, like Snoop Dogg said, you can't play boxing. You know that's true. You can't play boxing, and so when he's in this ring. The first thing that I that I seen when he came out, he was in Nick's colors. He was. He was in Nick's. That was that was that was bad. That was. I bad knew. I knew it was over. You knew it was over. Saw the, <laughs> that colorway, I knew it was over. And, but you know what? He's the last time the Knicks were. Well, not the last time, but he was an enjoyable Nick. I'll say that he was an enjoyable yeah, Nick. Was, he, yeah, Nate was an enjoyable Nick. Yeah. Like he like he made the green jerseys popular for the Knicks. The Knicks that is yeah, yeah. That is mm-hmm. very true. Yeah. Because before he wore them in the dunk contest, I don't know who was who was really like, yeah, this is it. This, this is, is it right here. Because it was him, and then like at a couple years later, I think before Carmelo joined, nobody was like, nah, 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 nah. And right. then Carmelo joined, and they were like, okay, yeah, we like the green again. Like you got to think, like when um, Nate Robinson was there, they had Jared Jeffries. That was, <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> that was their guy, Jared was- Jeffries. Hey, that was a long time ago. Know, oh right? my god! I had to go back to my memory bank. So, Nate Robinson, well-respected athlete, gets into this ring. He gets embarrassed. Jake Paul tells Nate Robinson, "Your kids. I hope your kids don't watch this fight." He said that before the fight. I hope your kids don't watch this fight. Mm-hmm. And the day of the event, Nate Robinson tweeted out, uh, "I'm doing this for my brothers in the NBA." Mm-hmm. I'm doing this for athletes all across the world, and I'm doing this for my family. And what does what happens? He gets knocked out, going to sleep. He slept. He was he was sleep. His mouth was he was bleeding. his mouth was bleeding. Mm-hmm. And I and I'm watching this, and I'm like, man, I didn't want to laugh. I had to, I had to chuckle. A little bit. I had to I had to. Oh wait, oh, that's what I want. I really hope his kids weren't watching though. I hope they I were. really hope. My my whole thing was when I was watching that, I'm like, what do you really have to prove, Nate? Like you can you, you like that tweet he made, I'm like, bro, it's really not that serious. For real. You're fighting Jake Paul. Just go in there, have some fun. You don't gotta bring it up to this this level that oh man, I'm doing this for the athletes. I'm doing this for my NBA brother. Like like But I, I get it. But I felt like that's what sold the fight. That's what's I know, and no, and I'm gonna say I yeah. get it. I, you know, you no, know, he was he was building it up. You know, he was you know marketing whatever, whatever you want to call it. I just saying, man, you should have just gone in there with like a more, not a playful attitude, but just a little bit more relaxed. You know. Yeah, 
Yeah. Um, so I'll ask this question because I've seen it roaming around on the internet. I don't. I don't believe it because he was really knocked out. But do you guys think Nate Robinson took a dive? I, I think know. he. I think he let his guard down. I think he thought it was going to be like an easy, easy pickings. Right. And then when he realized, like, oh man, this guy can, you know, he can go a little. Yeah. That's when he. That's when the downfall happened. <laughs> That's what I think. I just think he let his guard down. Jacob? I don't know. Like, that's a good question. But either way, he, he shouldn't have been in that ring. He shouldn't have caught him out. Right, because he, Nate Robinson had no idea what he was doing. He, he had, had no idea. He even had sneakers on. He didn't have boxing shoes on. He had sneakers. He had, yeah. what I, he had NBA, or not NBA trunks. He had basketball shorts. As trunks, mm, mm-hmm. like I'm sitting here watching. I'm like, man, and the ring is smaller, so you can't run. Right. That, like that's what that was made for. That's why the ring was smaller. But they also had bigger gloves. What so, is what is one of the number one rules in boxing? Protect yourself at all times. But and protect your face when you have your arm, your hands up, and you have it right here protecting your face. Right, mm-hmm. bro. Nate Robinson had his arms all the way down, like by his stomach. And Jake just, I saw that one video where Jake just they had it in a slow-mo. And it was so easy for Jake to just get a clear shot on him. And I was like, bro, why are you in this ring? When you, like, I get it. Like, you're fighting in, in your days for a bit. Right. You're like, oh, my God. But you got to know if you're in the ring, you got to protect yourself, dog. You can't be dazed at all times. Because yeah. that's right. what's going to happen. So now we are at a point. Um, man. So Man, now, the, what the <clears throat> the Paul brothers are what two and zero now? Because because Logan did Logan beat KSI or was that a draw? No, I think he, I don't, I think he did beat KSI. Yeah, I but think that, he beat him right. Yes, Jake, so Jake fought. Um, what is KSI's younger brother name? Oh, uh, uh, Dick. Uh, start with a D. Digi, Digi. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they fought before too. And I, but that was a draw, wasn't it? Or did he win? I can't remember that one. I can't. I can't not remember any of those. I remember but, him fighting. I remember I don't fighting remember like that. But you're right. You're right. Logan did beat KSI. Yeah. So they're so they're probably two and one now. I want to say or two two one and zero. You know if they got a draw in there. I think Jake. I think Jake has a loss. Oh, Jake was on. Two. You said what? I don't think, yeah, I don't think Jake's lost. I don't think Jake's lost. But now, okay. But now but the he, question you know, he's is fought in just amateurs. Right. Right. Yeah. Ah man. Um. The Roy Jones Tyson fight, I'll just say this. Like Snoop Dogg said, those were two uncles fighting. I agree. But Tyson had a little more oomph to his throws. So I would like to see Tyson fight somebody like um I don't know who he should fight, but he should fight somebody who's at least forty. I'll say that. I think he can he can fight somebody who's forty. Is that he gonna go again? Yeah, he's already said he's he's gonna fight again. He's already said. Oh, he, well, I don't. Somebody who's at least forty. Yeah. Uh, I don't know De La Hoya. I don't think Austin's gonna fight. No. no, he can't. He can't. He's Brian. Yeah, I'm about to say like, nah, he, he ain't gonna fight. No. Uh, no, no, who no. else? No, no, no. I don't know, but Tyson had, he he looked good. Roy Roy didn't look that bad, but. You could tell it was like, hey man, I'm trying, I'm giving all I got, but this guy is, hey man, it's, <laughs> it's a little more struggle with this one. 